here for, man? What you here for, huh? Does your life matter? Does your life matter? Hey everybody, this is Brian Dare with the Colorado Home Building Academy. Thank you so much for joining us back here for a workshop, episode number three. This is gonna be a little bit different than the other episodes you might see here because this is an interview between the Denver Post, myself, and Billy Liptrot, who is an alum of our school. So this just came out in the Denver Post this past Sunday. Wanted to get this to you so you can see some of the backstory of this interview between the Denver Post and him as he tells his story of hope after incarceration. Billy is familiar with what it looks like to be successful in the workforce, uh, but his life was interrupted by incarceration and after incarceration, finding himself in the middle of a pandemic where he was told to stay home and stumbled across our training and the careers opportunities in construction and wanted to make sure that he took advantage of that. You'll find in this interview, Billy is an impressive individual with big goals and big ambition, and we are really excited for what the future holds for him. But this might be an encouragement to you if you find yourself in a position that just seems somewhat hopeless or like you don't really have a lot of options or you don't know what's next or you're unemployed or uh, you're in a situation where you feel like no one will uh, be willing to hire you for a job. We're excited about what the future holds for Billy. His story, as you might imagine, is still being told, but he has a bright future. He's one of those individuals who just takes life by the horns and finds a way to make it work, and that's what he's doing right now. So I'll send you on over to that interview. Hope you enjoy it. Have a good one. Billy, do you have kids already? Yeah, I do. I do. All right, good. Got five. <laughs> yeah, they're not really kids anymore, Brian. But uh, yeah, they're you know they're all older. That's awesome. Yeah, I have, I have three young children. Three young children. What's the youngest? The youngest is three. So three, oh, okay. uh, six, and uh, eight. Wow. So, okay. Awesome. Crazy house. But I remember those days. I remember those. Days. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Billy, tell me about yourself. Um, when did you start the boot camp? What were you doing before? And, sure. Yeah. Sure. And it's Judy, right? It is. Judy Colbert. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Miss Colbert. Um like, like the plumbing fixtures. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so um I uh well I started boot camp uh the beginning of April, um, which was just uh, a few weeks ago actually. I think we're maybe April second or something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um prior to uh prior to doing boot camp I actually so let me let me let me just go back for a second. So I started I heard about the program um in a in a community reentry um, I guess project type thing I was in. I came out of prison um right yeah uh uh March 11th. Okay. Now, while I was there, um, this was something that I had been planning uh, for months, actually, prior to my release. They have a, like a reentry classes for guys who are getting out soon and want to start laying some foundation for uh, what they might do to reintegrate uh, back into the community and, and not, you know, make the same mistakes. Um, yeah, so I had this written down um, uh, in my planner for, for quite a while. Um, it was actually something I was looking forward to. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of construction background. Now, I, I, uh, I've done general labor quite a bit where I'm, I'm the guy that'll go and I'll uh, keep the site cleaned up, pick up trash, uh, make sure that there's no, no fire hazards and stuff, um, that type of thing. I was that guy and I would usually work through uh, like temp labor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I always had an admiration and respect for the guys that are walking around in their hard hats and their boots and they got their their lunch and the cooler and they're you know these are tradesmen and they're and they and they they know stuff and they have skills and they um and i'm always just kind of there like wow still not knowing what i wanted to do with my life um and this is up until like the age of 35 so i hadn't figured out even at that time what i wanted to be when i grew up <laughs> um so yeah uh coming out of prison and uh starting this program is kind of been um 
Well, I got to tell you, it's, it's it's been quite the experience. Um, the staff that I've dealt with uh, from Brian, um, John, um, these guys are very, very knowledgeable. Um, they're very um, supportive. I mean, I can email Brian right now while we're on a Zoom, and he'll email. He'll somehow manage to reply, you know, and that that means a lot to me because uh, I, I was a little bit apprehensive coming into the program because I don't really know where I fit in. Um, like I said, I do have a limited skill set, and and some of the guys that are some of the students uh, that I that we that I share the class with, um, they have a lot more background. Um, they know a little more of the lingo. They 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 kind of have a, a little more direction in terms of where they're going and and what their goals are. And I'm just kind of learning as I go. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. I will say this. Um, if I can do this, and this can work for me, this can work for anybody. You know, because I'm I'm coming from a place where I don't have a whole lot behind me. I don't have a bunch of commendations and things like that um my resume did look good uh before i went to prison but things kind of changed i was away for two years uh -huh. you know yeah so um i got a lot riding on this program and, and being successful in it um this is why i'm able to to give the energy that i do uh, because this means a lot to me even being given given this opportunity uh -huh. you know uh, i meet my uh my my career coach um today tuesday yeah i'll meet her tomorrow um which is great and we can start talking about my options and what i what i kind of see going forward because i i really don't know um but but as i with each class with each module with each uh a uh, bit of information that i'm giving i'm starting to open up kind of like a flower and i'm kind of starting to see hey there is a place for me in this thing mm -hmm. um you know and i can be a success uh because i'm looking for like a career I can't do jobs anymore. I'm too old for jobs. Um, my kids are too expensive. You know, they're all like, you're really expensive. I won't graduate from high school, you know, and we, yeah, we had to pull out for, to get her a car. And I'm just like, man, I, and I got a few more behind her. So I'm like, I got to get it together, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking um, you're, you're entering, you know, you're, you're doing your reentry out of particularly kind of tough time yeah uh, yeah you know, when um but but the good news seems to be obviously um construction has been allowed to continue because it's considered essential sure. and i was talking to one of the home builders this morning and he was just saying you know they've really been struggling for a while to get enough people and um you know brian mentioned earlier that a lot of the people are aging out you know they're retiring yeah. so does that make you hopeful very much so uh judy not that guys are aging out but yeah that they're that this is still a a, a position this is still an industry that there's work um I've, I've left the house a few times to get the essentials and while i'm passing out I see guys, you know, passing through in their construction uh, uh, clothing, and I'm like, wow, these guys are still working, mm -hmm. you know. And I know so many people who are stuck at the house and unable to work. And so, yeah, that that does speak volumes, and it is encouraging. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess what what's been your experience so far? I mean, what's been some of the more interesting things that you're learning through the boot camp? Um. Well, I've uh, I've made some connections uh, with some peers. Um, we, uh, I really expect, I really respect. I'm sorry, the um, the dedication of the staff at uh, the Home Building Academy, and the reason why is because these are tough times, and they've had to uh, um, change the whole program, basically modify the whole thing uh, in, in in a short time, I imagine, because. Um, you know, we're not on a campus. We're we're meeting up on on Zoom four days out of the week, going over a lot of information. Um, you know, guys like John, uh, who's who's my instructor, um, he 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 takes time and he answers questions, and he he seems very knowledgeable. He's been in the industry for a very long time. 
Mm -hmm. um, and so it's a pleasure even getting to sit down and pick his brain. Everybody has to say about certain things because I feel that I, I kind of have a, an advantage um, next to the guy who probably, you know, uh, maybe if we were in the classroom setting, um, it wouldn't have been as personal. Because this is like literally we're face to face, you mm -hmm. know. And so uh, we have discussions. Um, there, you know, some guys speak up, some don't, but it's, uh, I'm just finding that um, I'm not alone in my quest to, uh, to find something better for myself in life going forward. You know, sure, there are guys who, who, who have been in the industry for a while, but they want to, they want to improve their, there's something that they need to pick up on or, um, and so it's nice just kind of being in the, in the same room with these guys, if you will. And, uh, yeah. having those relationships um it's a lot of information though the stuff that we go over it's a lot um we have pretty much like homework every day um and i mean it's 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 up to the individual i guess how well one will do because it's kind of self-accelerated nobody's going to hold your hand through it you know john will show us the stuff to the best of his ability um given our situation and then um we, we got to figure it out once we get offline and uh, I found that to be encouraging um, because I'm learning that this is something that I am becoming passionate about. There, there's been times, especially we did the, uh, the construction math. That was my most difficult subject. And I was like, man, I don't know if I can do it. Rough, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this. Um, but, but I did. You know, I got through it and it felt good. And then, um, you know, I got my wife rooting for me. Um, heck, my parole officer. That's awesome. You know, my my kids, and so this is something that's bigger than just me. You know, and I don't think really until we're finished here, and I can actually have a testimony to say hey, through this, and this is what I became. Um, I don't think that the uh, the Home Building Academy really has an idea how much uh, you guys impact people's lives because this has been the only thing that I've had coming out to this, this pandemic. Um, you got to understand I've, I've been in a closed environment for the last couple of years. Yeah. I get home and I'm ready to, ready to shoot for the stars, you know, go here and go there. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then there, you got somebody telling you, you need to stay home. <laughs> right. And it's like, um, okay. So, yeah. so, but it's been a blessing in disguise because I've been able to focus on the things that are important. What that is, uh, 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 Judy, Brian, it's my family and my future. That's awesome. Okay. Because these are the things that i kind of been neglecting um, over the last few years, hence my uh, trip to, to the big house. Um, yeah, so kind of being forced to stay home and focus on the important things, the essentials, you know. Um, yeah. And a blessing. And I realized that this is the attitude that I'm going to need to adopt even once the, once the, the, the quarantine and the lockdown stuff is over with, I'm going to need to focus on my family and my future. And so the, the, the home building Academy is giving me the platform uh, with which to do that. What, what's, um, have you thought about where you'd like to be like in a couple of years? Um, you know, working as a carpenter working as an electrician have you thought that far ahead yeah judy i have um recently actually uh once once i'm finished here i like to get into uh an apprenticeship um as a carpenter and uh go from there i mean i don't i can't really see that far ahead but at least now i have some vision um and that's a lot more than i can say for for even just a few months ago you know do have some plans once I finish the the program here um and it's not it's not just okay wham bam thank you ma'am I'm, I'm I'm done it's like because I'm building some relationships with some of the students um and so I'll have a network of people who are like-minded and um you know career-minded and guys I can reach out to that 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 understand the struggle yeah. um but what I like to do is uh get into uh, an apprenticeship carpentry Mm -hmm. program and see see where that takes me i yeah. want to make some money you know i don't want to i don't want to be able to take care of my family um be successful and, and enjoy what i do you know i've made some some half decent money before jobs but man i hated going every single morning 
it was just a dread. It almost gave me anxiety the night before knowing I had to wake up and go to this job that I hated. And so I don't want that experience mm-hmm. anymore. You know, yeah. I want something that I can be good at, something where I can make a difference and, and something that'll give me purpose. Um, yeah. So how did you find out about this program, Billy? Again, I was um, referred by a case manager. Oh. Um, yeah, at the facility I was at, they have a uh, what's called a reentry program. Uh-huh. Okay. And really all it is, Judy, is like a, a, a desktop computer in a small room. Um, and that's it. And you got to kind of make do with what you got. But I was s- scrambling through and I, I found a few different opportunities. Uh, but this one, it kind of stuck out to me because it said, wait a minute, they're going to teach me how to do this. And then they, once I'm done learning, they can point me in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Well, this is all I've been needing ever since I was 22 years old, trying to find myself in the world, you know? So now I'm going to capitalize and I'm going to make good on it. And, and I'm not, I'm not going to pass up any more opportunities. Mm-hmm. That's how I found out about the program. Yeah, that's great. I, I do want to mention something there, Judy, is that what, what Billy's saying, we find that a lot. Most people that find out that we're a, we're like a trade school in that we, we teach, you know, carpentry trades, et cetera, assume that we're mostly working with really young people. So fresh out of high school or in high school. And we do have a youth apprenticeship program that specifically works with different high schools, public high schools in the area. But with the bulk of our training is for adults and the bulk of adults that are in our training are between 25 and 45. Oh, so okay. it's, it's, it's older than you would think. And it's individuals like Billy who's saying, hey, I want a real career. I'm a parent. I want to make some decent money. I want to do something that's meaningful and satisfying. Yeah. And sometimes it's, it's in your 30s or 40s before you realize, you know, the stuff I was doing, even if it did make me good money, was not satisfying. Yeah. Um, and I need something that is both can help pay the bills as well as be satisfying at the end of the day. So we, our, our student body is older than most people would think. I have people, I have people that ask me, Hey, I'm 45. Am I too old? I said, we've had 65. So no, you're not too old. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and just think of all the people who go to college and then never do, or they wind up doing something totally different from their, whatever degree they get or something. Yeah. I mean, we have plenty of of people who haven't gone to college and have been sold the lie that they can't be successful because they haven't. So we see that, but then we also see people who, um have been to college we've had i I had a phd research scientist take our training one time um so (laughs) we we've had we've had attorneys and we've had individuals who have master's degrees and plenty of people who have bachelor's degrees who uh again trained for a specific field maybe even got into that field and found out man this is not what i want to do with my life it takes a little while to figure that out it also takes a little while sometimes to figure out you can change you can do something different. You're not married to whatever occupation you chose in the first place. So, um, Brian, what is, do you have, you know, the academy, do you have your own campus where you've got the hands-on things that people do or can you yeah. describe Our, that? Yeah, sure. So we, we're at 445 West 53rd Place is our address. We share a building with precision building systems and precision building systems makes um, structures of various sorts for homes. So mostly trusses and things of that nature. They ship out to home build. So it's a really big building. And if you're familiar with that area, we're right behind Furniture Row. Uh, It's a really large building right behind um, the gallery of Furniture Row. Oh, okay. So uh, we obviously don't occupy the entire building, but we have a very large space where there's an actual halfway built real size house inside that space. Um, and that's our learning lab where we do the hands-on training. Mm-hmm. Billy, have you even got a, got a chance to see that space? No, not in person. I saw some yeah. pictures, but All right. I'm looking forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got pictures of it on our webpage. You know, we have a YouTube channel too that you can find us on where you can see okay. what that space looks like. Great. Yeah, I was going to ask you, Billy, are you looking forward to that part of it? 
I absolutely am, um, Judy. But I appreciate this part of it too, uh, yeah. because it's kind of warming us up. Um, like I said, building those relationships and getting the getting the hard stuff out of the way. Once the hands-on application stuff starts, I think that um, it'll make it all the more real for some of us and uh, continue the dream, I guess. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. Well, thank you. And Brian, I will um, talk to the photographer and get him, um, you know, connected with you and Thanks for taking the time and Billy, thank you. I really appreciate it and wish you the best of luck. And uh, it sounds like you're enjoying what you're doing, so. Thank you, Judy. Thanks, Brian, for letting me thank you, Judy. tell good my story. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys have a good one. Okay, y'all. Well, hey, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed that interview. Uh, just to recap, if you're looking to get plugged into our program, or you are an employer that would like to hire our students, please do get in touch with us. You can find me at 303-358-4409 or Brian, B-R-I-A-N, at cohomebuildingacademy.org. Uh, we have the boot camp that's available to get your start in the construction field as well as uh, skills trades training and as well as construction management. I'd love to talk to you about the details of all that. You have a wonderful day. Thank you as so much for listening. I'll catch you later. Bye.